At the outset, let me welcome each and every one of you for uh, day two webinar on module two, paper four of our professional program for Institute of Company Secretaries of India's examination. The subject is information technology and systems audit. This is an exam oriented webinar for CS professional program and uh, today we are going to see lesson number two on information systems. And I must appreciate uh, all the 90 participants who are uh, online dot at 8 a.m. So my appreciations to each and every one of you and I'm sure uh, each and every one of you this December 2020 examination, I repeat, this December 2020 examination, all of you will come out with flying colors the dedication is what the first uh, mantra that should be there for uh, every one of us as a student of ICSI. And I once again make the point very clear. The entire uh, session is recorded and we are under the surveillance of uh, ICSI. So kindly, kindly make it a point that uh, do not unnecessarily type anything in the chat box unless and otherwise prompted by me, number one. Number two, uh, good that um, there is a good response and um, uh, the WhatsApp group of All India CS uh, ITSA group uh, has been formed and uh, uh, close to around uh, 60 people have already there and I believe uh, more number of uh, people will join. The objective of the group is to uh, make each and every one of you in that group uh, to clear this examination. The purpose of that group is only to knowledge sharing. I repeat, knowledge sharing. And uh, one of the officer of the ICSA also will be there in that group. They will be monitoring and uh, uh, exchange of information on this particular subject. Up to date uh, information of uh, Institute of Company Secretaries of India with respect to the student information and uh, uh, queries on ITSA. That is the objective of that group. And those of you who are interested at the end of this session, I will uh, share the number. And already two administrators from uh, two corners of the country, uh, one from Southern region, another from uh, Western region, uh, are already our administrators there. And two more volunteers, two more volunteer students from Northern India and uh, uh, from Eastern India. Maybe if you volunteer, uh, I'll make you as an admin for that particular uh, group. And uh, let us now move into this particular subject. The entire nine days, as I told you yesterday, I repeat the entire nine day will be exam focused. So I'll be focusing on what the exam questions are, how you have to answer, what you have to understand. And each and every chapter, I will only focus on the most important uh, topics. I will say from technology perspective, from understanding perspective, I'll focus, I'll explain it. The other so-so uh, topics, uh, I will leave it to you and I'm sure uh, all of you can do well with those topics. So wherever um, there is a need for uh, more clarity on the topic and the subject, I will ensure that I will take you uh, into that particular one. And whatever uh, I'm sharing here, the PowerPoints, uh, this PDF will be available in my blog. I repeat, it is available in my blog. My blog addresses will be shared and uh, already uh, yesterday's material is shared in my, in my blog. You can go and download it. But uh, all of you make one point very clear that uh, whenever you download the material from my blog, share your inputs, share your uh, reflections, your suggestions, your points, maybe your queries. You may have some doubts. Just share it in the blog. That's very important. Okay, so... That's the way you connect uh, with the blogger. So that's the way you connect with the subject. That's the way uh, you actually express yourself. So virtual uh, world uh, will be very interesting unless and otherwise, unless and otherwise you communicate. The virtual world is uh, not a one-way communication, but it should be two-way. Always remember it should be two-way. But then the learning will be there. You will uh, explore more and the subject will be very, very simple and interesting. The objective of this nine day, I repeat the objective of this nine day program is to make the subject simple. 
make the subject clear and you have to understand okay and uh, in the process you are uh, you are an eligible and you can do well in your examination okay good now with this guys already 143 uh, friends are there online let's uh, move into this uh, subject now good so this is your study material and as i told you yesterday please keep your study material with you okay and i don't want you to keep your virtual study material okay keep a physical study material and that's the only way in which you can learn and uh, stop uh, uh, don't type anything unless and otherwise i unless and uh, please add me to don't type anything sonali and uh, uh, very important uh, my dear students please ensure that you give your name and location whenever you type in your chat box and and uh, number one rule two rules please understand in chat box without me prompting don't type anything in chat box second second rule very important anything you type in chat box whether it is query or answer put your name and location and then type what is this redmi 3 note 3 you don't have a sense to uh, uh, introduce yourself with your name all of you please remember you are all institute of company secretaries of india students have the boldness to actually introduce yourself if you don't have the boldness to introduce uh, even in a virtual room how you will have the boldness to be a professional okay remember you have to be very very bold and in virtual platform you have to introduce yourself properly with the name and location and never type anything without name and location and those of you who don't want it you can just get out of this room we don't want such students of this institute at all please be very clear about it okay with your name you have to enter inside and remember the entire institute is watching you okay it is not that uh, and uh, this entire platform has been made free of cost there is no charge for this and please use this properly i repeat please use this properly for your benefit in this lockdown we are all able to be connected it is only because of our alma mater institute of company secretaries of india so please be grateful to that please be grateful to that for the gesture of our institute and uh, come forward boldly and in virtual uh, platform you have to come with your name very clearly okay and i don't want any of you uh, typing anything anything should not be typed without me prompting you very good this you already you have made it chat so don't type anything now right now let us go into the subject now our second subject uh, second chapter is information system guys i want to make one point very clear to all of you this chapter see out of this 11 chapters i want to make one point very clear okay out of this 11 chapters chapter number 1 and chapter number 11 this is actually an extreme chapter what is extreme it, it is not a technology chapter but it is uh, around the technology what we did yesterday it is information technology law it is actually information technology act 2000 an information technology amendment act 2008 so it is about a legal perspective of handling the technology issues and also giving recognition for transactions and for uh, the documents which will be interchanged what you call as the data that will be interchanged good so that is one side of uh, the subject the other side of the subject is systems audit so that is your 11th chapter so chapter number one and chapter number 11 are two extreme chapters and in between you have jumped from chapter number two to chapter number 10. so it is about information systems hardware software programming database okay and uh, you have something about erp mis okay and uh, various information systems uh chapter number two i repeat guys chapter number two as well as chapter number uh, eight, I repeat, chapter two and chapter eight. Generally, uh, I have heard uh, some of uh, you saying, Sir, the moment I read uh, chapter number two, chapter number eight, I get sleep. Especially whenever I am very much bored, I read uh, one pair or two pair of chapter two and immediately I get very good sleep. You know why? Because we don't understand. We don't understand what he is communicating. I will say second chapter and eighth chapter. Both are fundamental chapter. I will say foundation chapter 
and there are many things as you are you will be company secretaries after qualifying you will be company secretaries and uh, you'll be dealing with the data you'll be dealing with information so you need to understand fundamentally and uh, as a company secretary you won't be working uh, with the operational level what you call operational level sales marketing or uh, with respect to purchase or with respect to advertising those are all uh, operational activity you may not be in an operation but you will be in an administrative capacity that means uh, what is called as a tactical level at a tactical level so otherwise called middle level so middle level every day you will get information every day you have to give information to top management so get information from the operational level and then give information to the top level so you need to understand uh, the concept behind uh, this particular chapter very important guys very important even though they speak about the abstract part of it please understand the practical part of it i repeat please understand the practical part of it you being a final student all of you you are on the final uh, level you are a professional program level so therefore uh, i am sure uh, there are many seniors also i am able to see that this is not the not only youngsters are forming part of this particular uh, allied group of uh, um, how many people are there 173 as of now we have uh, even very senior uh, students uh, who are pursuing this particular course so i am sure whatever i am going to discuss now you will appreciate and understand okay and this particular chapter have been divided into for example this is the first one systems information data okay up to the value and cost of information this is one part this is one part this particular chapter has actually three parts one is systems information data and all this stuff they will actually discuss about it it will look as though very abstract huh? but i'll try to actually explain it in a practical sense okay practically so this is one aspect there is other aspect of this chapter which is the information needs of the management so this is uh, so first you understand what is systems and information second you understand how this will be useful for the various levels of management why they need it why they need it and this is how the exam questions are set and uh, uh, don't actually by heart all this try to understand and try to write uh, in a very very simple language very very simple language okay so as i told you this particular chapter has been divided into three main parts one is system and information this is one part of the syllabus the second part of the syllabus the levels of management and their information needs i repeat levels of management now all of you will uh, uh, don't jump to a conclusion that okay management all these levels means it's something about organization management uh, and uh, why should i read about it it is not so they actually understand you that you know about management you know about the various levels of management but here the levels of management for example sales and marketing sales and marketing what data they will deal with finance department what data they will deal with you are uh, you are a company secretary so you will be in a secretarial department or uh, you may be in a compliance uh, department so as a compliance officer so what are the data you will need what are the data you will provide so to the for example you are a company secretary you will be in charge for conducting the board meeting so then what are the information you need because at board level uh, they will ask all kinds of data about the entire company so as a company secretary you need to actually have all this information so this para is very important para i repeat this para is a very very important para good now the last type of uh, this is also an exam question okay rinku mera i told you don't type anything in the chat box okay this is rule number 1 without ca gopal krishna raju uh, i am not only a chartered accountant i am a cost accountant and also a company secretary i know the difficulty of this particular course and uh, don't think that uh, i i have actually have, um, done this particular course uh, with uh, ease and elen okay rinku you have to follow some uh, protocols and uh, shivam 
Sonali, everybody follow protocols. This is not an ordinary act. In classroom, you will keep quiet and listen to the faculty and unless another faculty prompts you, you have to answer. Until such time, just keep quiet. And I'll prompt you to share your thoughts. Don't share your thoughts until I prompt you. You have time. The last half an hour, I'll give you time to share your thoughts, your questions. And you have uh, my blog. Why you are not typing in blog? And why you are keeping quiet? Is this a way you have to uh, disturb other people? This chat box is disturbance to everybody. Don't do it unless and otherwise. Uh, and remember, I am taking names here and institute is watching you. So please act sensibly. And I don't want anybody to type anything in chat box until I tell you. I'll be asking questions. Today you will be typing in chat box. When I prompt you to ask questions, and when I prompt you to type, at that time only you have to type. Until such time, please don't type anything. I am not a faculty like anybody else. Just come here and speak. You do whatever nonsense in your chat box. I, I dislike it and I want that. I will be expecting that particular uh, discipline in this uh, webinar class. Okay, please follow that. And you are all sensible and responsible ICSI students. So please act sensibly. Good. This is the second level, second, second type of uh, topic in uh, chapter two. There is a third type. Please don't ignore this. This is a mandatory question. Recent trend in information system, but actually uh, uh, I will say this recent trends uh, is a very generic uh, topic. It's a very generic topic. They could have kept in some other uh, area, but they have kept here. So especially on cloud computing, on mobile application, on analytics, business analytics, and use of agile technology. Now why they have kept here, I'll tell you. Especially getting information, you need to know what is data analytics is. You need to know what is cloud means. So these are all some very fundamental, very, very fundamental. So therefore, and uh, uh, remember, your questions, exam questions, is based on this particular area also. So let me just uh, share with you uh, those questions now one by one and I'll take you into this particular topic. Please look here. Yes. Ah. So see here, you have a four mark question on cloud computing and from where cloud computing they have taken, this is your recent trends in information system, page number 45 of the study material. And my class, all of you should keep your study material with you. And don't give me a reason saying a lockdown, no study material, institute hasn't provided. It is there in your soft copy, download it, use a, what is it, your DTP or take a printout, put a spiral and then read it. So don't give excuses. If you try to give excuses, we'll never uh, learn. Okay, then uh, this is, um, ah, please look here, the various types of information. And uh, even though, the entire uh, question paper will seem to be, uh, I will say, uh, theoretical, but it is not theoretical. Unless another you understand, don't just uh, by heart it and then say what is primary, what is secondary information. Try to understand with respect to some examples. So I'll, I'll give you all those examples. Wait, one by one I'll give. Um, what are the information needs of top management? See, that's what I was referring to. That's the second part. The moment it is a information, the first part of your uh, second chapter. And information, first part of your second chapter. Tactical management, operation, second part of your, uh, um, your chapter two. And cloud computing, third part of your chapter. Information needs, second part of your chapter. So what I told you, okay. And tactical management, your second part of your chapter. And open system and closed system, first part of your chapter. So what is your major activities in uh, information, first part of your chapter. So minimum four marks uh, on an average they ask uh, eight marks uh, maybe if you look at the latest question paper I'll, I'll show you the latest question paper please look at latest one this is your latest question December 19 and December 19 you will be surprised guys they have asked uh, that mandatory 20 mark question so here it is like a case study question please look here that's the case study and uh, what I understand from the past question papers is almost every chapter uh, even um, you have chapter number uh, three on software and chapter number uh, you have on programming, on ERP, 
on uh, generally on ERP, on e-governance, on MIS, on uh, internet and other technologies, database management, and uh, chapter number two, information systems, case studies are taken. Please, this is a case study. So a mini case study. So they are given some scenario, some situation. And based on this, please look here, 20 mark question, guys, 20 mark. This is the maximum. From one chapter, they ask 20 mark. They say, oh, discuss any five features of uh, information. And uh, they ask, define cloud computing. So the entire chapter they have been asking. So based on the above, attend the following. So uh, one interesting uh, aspect is you can actually get answers from here. Try to fit your study material answers with this. So one by one, I'm going to take you now. Okay. Good. The first one. Okay. <clears throat> Let me take you to the recent trends in information system. That is the, because that is a mandatory question they ask. I repeat, that's a mandatory question. And every time uh, I'm able to see uh, at least one question uh, from this. So this is your chapter two, guys. It starts from uh, um, page number, I will say page number 30. Yeah, 23 onwards. Okay. So as I told you, you have the system related questions. Up to this, you have system related questions. Then you have the information needs of uh, business and it goes uh, up to the last one from here to here, the second part and the recent trends in information system. So let me take you to the recent trends in information system. Now. Okay. And this recent trends has four uh, parts again. So they discuss about cloud computing. They discuss about um, mobile application and they also discuss about um, analytics. What is business analytics is? and the use of agile technology and some of the questions uh, they have been asking uh, uh, discuss any two recent trends uh, in information system so this is your recent trends in information system and uh, let me first take you to cloud computing okay now please look at your questions guys this is your question define cloud computing mention any two features of cloud computing and list out any four users of cloud computing Okay, this is the question and please look here, one plus two plus two, five marks question. So sensibly you have to answer. So don't just uh, jump to, uh, okay. And whenever you uh, read, use a notebook and a pen and note points. Okay, for example, cloud computing. What are the points you need to write about cloud computing? Okay, let me first explain and then we'll go into it. Now, please look here guys. Okay, agile analytics, data, mobile application, data, cloud. Now, and in cloud, there is possibly another question they may ask is with respect to cloud services. So that is the next point that I will explain it now one by one. Now, remember, cloud computing is a technology that has some advantages. Number one, that uses an architecture. So you have to explain two things. What is the architecture they use? What is the advantage of it? Now, the traditional technology is you will have a machine, you will have the storage. I repeat, machine will be there, processing will be done, data will be there, storage will be there, everything will be with you only. Everything is with you. So there is no need for a network. There is no need for a network. So you have a machine. Inside a machine, processing will be done. Inside the machine, data is there. Inside the machine, it is stored. And maybe you want to take a backup, you take a backup and keep it. This is very traditional. Now, what are the advantages in it? Advantage is everything is with you. That is the only advantage. But uh, that has a lot of risk factors. Why? You have to uh, manage your place uh, safe. Uh, and uh, if something goes wrong, uh, Recreating that will be very difficult. So what do you call it as a term called business continuity, disaster recovery, how to come out with the disaster recovery. Second, when you have multiple locations, when your organization is very big and keeping every uh, data in your place, machines, everything will occupy space, will occupy, uh, you need to have a lot of control. So slowly we have now moved to a concept called cloud. And 
in 1985-90, there was a guy, his name was Divang Mehta. I repeat, his name was Divang Mehta. He was the first NASCOM chief, National Association for Software Companies. And he died at the young age of 39. And um, he was a chartered accountant. And he mentioned one thing. There are four basic needs of human being. It is not three. There are four. Oh, kya hai? It is not roti, kapada, or makan. Roti, kapada, or makan is three basic needs of human being. And he said, it is not three, it is four. He said this uh, when 1985 itself, he said. What is that fourth one? He said it is roti, kapada, makan, or connectivity. He said this in 1985. So, when you have connectivity, 24 by 7, high-speed connectivity, why the hell you need the data, the software processing, I repeat, data, software, and processing, DSP, data, software, processing, why do you keep it with you? You keep the data somewhere else, the software also somewhere else, processing also you, you give it to somewhere else. You only have a, a monitor and a keyboard and connect it to that. That's all. And where, that is called plug and play. Anywhere you, you tell, you just take this, just open it, switch it on. Next moment, uh, you have connectivity, connect it and then do your business. So you need not every time load the data, update that, this is checking, you can add everything, you keep it there. So cloud consists of everything storage, server, database, application, that means the softwares. And you can also access it, not only with your laptop, you can access it with your mobile, you can access it with your pads, iPads or tabs, any type of uh, devices, you can actually connect it. And what do you mean by, uh, physically, what do you mean by cloud? It means uh, there is a location away from your place uh, where servers will be kept, your software will be kept, you take a space from there and you work on it. So virtually your entire office data will be saved, stored, processed at a different location. So that is why it is called private cloud. Private cloud means you have your server and you are the owner of that server. You are the owner of that cloud. What is a public cloud? There are companies who will only manage cloud and they'll give space to you. They'll give space to you. What is hybrid cloud? A combination of both. Now, I'll come to the definition. Please come to this definition. This is where, if you come to the examination question, one mark, two mark, and two mark, five mark. What is cloud computing? In general term, for anything that involves delivering hosted services, hosted, it is already there in some place, that will be giving services to you. Now, what are the services? That services is what we are going to see here. The cloud services is IAAS, PAAS, SAAS, PaaS, SaaS, not SaaS and Bahu. That SaaS is not there. This SaaS means not your tomato SaaS. This SaaS is software as a service. PaaS, as PaaS ka PaaS nahi hai. This is called platform as a service. Infrastructure as a service, IAAS. You have another IAAS which is Indian Accounts and Audit Service. That is different. This IAAS is Infrastructure as a Service. These three can be an examination question. So far, they have not asked this question. So my view is this December 2020, you can get this as an exam question. Let us see what it is. Now, please look at this. I've given some examples of uh, SaaS. Okay. Not SaaS and Bahu. Software as a Service. I'm sure all of you know what a Dropbox is. What is a Dropbox? A Dropbox is a place where you actually save data. So rather than keeping everything in uh, your uh, laptop, uh, you actually uh, uh, drop your data and store your data in a CSAS, Software as a Service. So you keep uh, your information there. So Dropbox. And so many uh, softwares uh, are given as a service by the respective by the respective, the service provider, the cloud computing service provider. Maybe I'll give one more example. Nowadays you have cloud accounting software, cloud accounting software. 
cloud accounting software is what you need not download the software for example i am not uh, advocating any product here please be careful and i am only giving an example so therefore in example i'll be using some names so please be uh, aware that i am not advocating any product here number 1 tally is a software you actually install it in your machine and then you use it now you need go to cloud accounting software you don't install your what you say the particular uh, software a minimum uh, application only you will for only for connecting so there is a small application you will install the entire software data you are not installing only to connect between your computer or your terminal to the cloud huh? a small application you will install that's all because uh, you need to get connected to it so you don't install the entire software you don't install your entire data here the data also is kept in cloud the software base software is also in the cloud only only to get your connectivity you have a small application that is why they are actually included mobile application also in your recent trend after this i'll go to mobile application so that uh, cloud accounting software is also a saas software as a service now example your um, uh, zoho books profit books quick books uh, all these uh, real books these are all accounting softwares and these are all cloud based accounting softwares and this cloud based accounting software have lot of advantages compared to a traditional accounting software maybe this is not a forum to actually explain on that particular thing i'm only giving examples for you to appreciate it in my youtube i have spoken for one hour only on cloud based accounting software one hour i have explained that what is meant by cloud based accounting software on saas alone i have spoken for one hour so maybe uh, you can just type dr gkr dr space gkr in youtube where uh, i have spoken about uh, this particular topic maybe if you need uh, i will give the link in my uh, in our all india cs itsa group i will give the link today you can go aram se you can have a uh, you can see what it is okay so this is number one point what is pass pass means platform as a service for example there are so many platforms that is available like for example google uh, your windows force these are all some of the platforms like there are many platforms uh, you need not install that platform here you can actually have the platform in uh, the cloud itself for example do you need a i repeat do you need an operating system as part of your machine no you don't need an operating system every time the operating system can be in uh, the cloud uh, and download that generally what you will do is when you open a machine the operating system will be there in your hard disk it will be loaded in your ram this is what uh, you will study in your chapter number 3 and 4 in chapter number 3 you will understand what is meant by hardware chapter 4 you will understand what is meant by software what is operating system how it is loaded all those uh, stuff and all you will study now in a cloud environment you don't need that uh, operating system to be part of your machine you can have the operating system in the cloud itself and when you switch on get first connected to the cloud from the cloud the the platform will be loaded in your system only to some extent it will be loaded which is required balance it will be connecting to your cloud itself and from cloud your machine can be operated so cloud is actually a back end which actually supports everything now for example insurance company insurance company will they insure your hardware or will they insure your software none of the software will be insured by insurance company they will only insure your hardware your keypad your keyboard your your um, uh, what do you say monitors that they will insure because that has a that has a value that has a cost that has some price so there is a 40000 rupees 4 lakh rupees so what is the hardware cost that hardware cost you can insure but the data inside your hardware what uh, they will uh, for you the data will be value you, you, you can actually say you have a you, you will always value more for it actually there was one advertisement which is given by demi moore demi moore is a very popular uh, actress in hollywood 
she lost her mobile phone and uh, there were a lot of uh, personal data and you know what personal stuff will be there so what she gave she gave an advertisement in that advertisement she said my mobile phone is lost those who will actually find it and hand over to me they will be aptly rewarded how much 20000 us dollar 20000 us dollar and in mobile phone itself uh, will not be i repeat uh, will not be even 1000 dollars not even 1000 dollars is uh, it will be hardly 500 to uh, 600 dollars only will be the mobile phone so even if we take even 1000 dollars so where is 1000 where is 20000 so 20x is paid uh, by demi moore a popular hollywood actress for that mobile phone is she paying for the mobile phone no she is paying for the data in it the phone numbers in it the photographs in it the videos in it the information in it the messages in it so that is important that is value and that is why cloud is important so it is not the hardware it is important so please understand so cloud services pass so this is only example so what i have given is only example please look here cloud service model so what is saas just now we saw saas i am giving what is end user package software operating system so operating system and application stack server storage network and what is iaas infrastructure server storage network infrastructure now i'll give you an example please look here infrastructure as a service now uh, example example now what do you mean by uh, uh, a place like um, uh, google drive google drive dropbox okay okay google drive what is google drive google drive is a storage space okay google drive is a storage space so uh, like that you have many uh, such storage storages please look here amazon web services so this is infrastructure as a service so you can actually uh, uh, today nowadays many companies have come forward so what they are giving they will give infrastructure as a service you need not uh, keep all your data with you you upload all your data in a space i'll give you some 10 tb space tb means terabyte the hierarchy of that is bit byte kilobyte okay megabyte gigabyte and uh, terabyte so there are uh, multiples of the 10 uh, it is actually 2 power 10 so 2 power 10 uh, bytes is called uh, what you <coughs> kilobyte 2 power 20 is megabyte 2 power 30 is gigabyte 2 power 40 is terabyte so 10 terabytes of uh, space i am taking it and i will uh, i will take off for uh, lease or for rent and i will pay some subscription charges monthly 200 rupees 2000 rupees like that i will uh, based on subscription infrastructure as a service you know nowadays nowadays the microsoft company so i am making it point very clear i am not advocating any product or a company here i am just giving an example you know microsoft they say uh, they package saas and iaas together they give oh what they do you are an office so you need software so i will give you ms office ms word itya itya they i will give i will give windows also i will give <coughs> windows means pass <coughs> so i will give you a platform as a service i'll give you software as a service i will also give 10 tb as a space you can store it here and i'll give you email as a service so because email is also an infrastructure okay so you can save space there so uh, for that they charge you a subscription some x rupees 500 rupees per month uh, 200 rupees per month for that space you can use that so that means you don't need to buy a cd and install it. nothing just subscribe pay get that space and then use it all the latest software will update will be available so saas pass iaas uh, all everything put together is packaged right, today and it is sold so SAAS, PAAS, IAAS. Please try to understand what it is. Okay, this is a cloud service, very important. And today, uh, you are appointed as a company secretary. No, I mean, imagine you are appointed as a company secretary. One week later, you are getting one uh, 
thing you are tabled. See, as a company secretary, you tell us, uh, you tell we are going for a software as a service with this particular company. So draft an agreement with that particular company, non-disclosure agreement. <coughs> so IAAS, uh, we are going to subscribe. So draft an agreement. So all those stuff will come. At that time, uh, we shouldn't think, oh my God, uh, it was not in our syllabus. I actually left it. Uh, so I don't understand what it is. So don't break your head at that time. So this is, they have kept very fundamental to you and try to actually appreciate more than that. And this is your exam question, guys, about. Okay, please look at your exam question. Uh, so now define cloud computing. You know what it is. Mention any two features of cloud computing. So please look here. What are the two features? And that features is given uh, in your page number 45 itself. These are its features. Two marks. Basically, a step on from utility computing. So next step, actually, you can ignore this step. This is actually a very general term. Please go to this second step. It is a collection or group of integrated network, hardware, software, and internet infrastructure called a platform. It is delivered using the internet for communication. Without internet, can you use cloud? No. So remember Divang Mehta, what he said? Uh, is it three basic needs of human being or four basic needs of human being? Four. What are they? Roti, Kapada, Makan, our connectivity. This is fundamental. So that is why Digital India, end to end, Kashmir se Kanya Kumari tak, Kashmir se Kanya Kumari tak, the pipes have been laid, optical fiber cable pipes has been laid, and this side, run of Kutch, till northeastern region, the pipes has been laid, an optical fiber cable has been put, and all the villages has been connected, all the villages has been connected. Today, it is not required to uh, stay in a, or live in a city. Where you have to live is a place where you have a connectivity. And if you have a connectivity, and uh, COVID-19 has taught us one very important lesson. What is it? You need not uh, live in city and spend the maximum uh, uh, expenses. Live in a natural environment where connectivity is there and work from there and earn money. So, Father, what do you need? You need infrastructure, you need connectivity, you need to understand technology. That's all sufficient. So cloud computing, these are the features. Now, what is the other question, guys? So we have 210 participants. Very good. Now, what is the third question in uh, the cloud computing? That is uh, with respect to, please look here. I'm not able to click that. Ah, yes. And list out any four uses of cloud computing. Okay. So that is in our next uh, page. What are the four... Uh, Users, sir, it is given in page number 46, last one. Please look at this. Whatever I just now said, they are the users. Rapid service. Why rapid service? 24 hours connectivity is there. The moment you connect, immediately. That's all. You directly download it and use it. And there are a lot of advantages in using the software as a, I repeat, and this is my, uh, uh, what is it? I'll show you my YouTube uh, page also. And where I have actually uh, spoken one hour about, uh, uh, what is it, um, about that um, accounting, cloud-based accounting. So this is my channel. And in this, I have spoken about, please look here. Uh, where is it? Uh, income tax return, GST, future of account. This is what I have spoken about. This I have spoken about the future of account. Uh, so I have spoken about that. And I'm going to show you one. Uh, this is future of accounting. Uh, uh, this is uh, please look. Uh, future of accounting, cloud-based software. I've spoken about this. How many? One never I've spoken about this. Maybe if you have time, you can go there and find out. So what is the future? What is the future? Actually, this topic is uh, called as the future of accounting, cloud-based software. Okay. So maybe if time permits, please uh, try what it is and share your. Uh, uh, views also. I mean, share your views and try to share your uh, thoughts in blog. In the blog, blog address I'll give at the end of this today's session. Try to share. And more you actually uh, try to explore, your study material will be very simple. Very simple. Very, very simple. And anytime you'll be ready for exam. Okay. So cloud computing, what is that advantages? Uh, so secure service. Why secure? So uh, they already have a backup, mirror uh, servers, everything will be there. You have to go to that particular kind of uh, cloud service provider who are actually having all these facilities. You have to study that. 
then lower cost because as i told you uh, microsoft is giving at per month 500 rupees per month 200 rupees and for student subscription it seems still still less okay multi user platform infinite storage bapre so and uh, that is why your hardware cost should be minimum don't you spend more on hardware don't spend on hardware so spend 10000 20000 and even government is giving free of cost government is giving free of cost and uh, please look at this uh, uh, thing uh, which uh, madam sita raman please look at this madam sita raman has actually announced uh, that um, uh, full time full time online degree uh, courses okay in india this has been announced on first of uh, first of was uh, Oh, where is it? Uh, FM announcement. Ah, please look at this. Ah, top hundred universities. Please look here. Ah, learning. Ah, this is what uh, uh, Madam Sita Raman has announced, and how much uh, has been uh, uh, allocated for uh, uh, this uh, full-time online degree courses. Uh, Madam Sita Raman has announced it, and how much money? Ninety-nine thousand seven hundred crores. in this budget they have allocated 99700 crores and what they will do for students they will give free of cost laptops and the smart cities they are giving uh, connectivity wifi connectivity what else you need and swayam.com is giving free courses swayam.gov.in is giving free online degree courses i repeat free online degree courses so and only for if you want a certificate uh, you need to pay so to this extent uh, the technology has been extended okay and this entire swayam is cloud and through cloud you are actually learning okay good so that is with respect to this now the next question which they may ask is analytics business analytics this is a very important question so let me now uh, share with you what is uh, analytics guys uh, there are even courses on business analytics here so you can just uh, type uh, what is business or uh, data analytics you can type please look here data analytics uh, there are courses free of cost they are uh, giving courses on data analytics okay for the on thing ongoing courses uh, big data analytics for smart grid please look here eight weeks course mm. now let me tell you what this data analytics are and today as a company secretary you will have lot of data from your functional department what is it uh, from sales you will get data and uh, and that do in cloud all these data will be there advertising data marketing data sales data production data uh, you will have finance data you will have the last 5 year data 10 year data projected data everything will be there you are surrounded with the data my god my mind boggles now you need to take the rust from that you need to take the essence from that how do you take essence from the that is called data analytics that is a process this is a process this is a process how inspect the data cleanse the data clean it transform the data take the summary and model the data using some financial modeling and then get the summary of it tabulate it with the goal what is the goal discovering useful information useful information so you have to be very clear first with when you have a bunch of data with you first to be clear w h a t what is w h a t what what do you want from this data please be very clear with that only you have to start inside and then dig and then do the cleansing and all and then tabulate it and then take the rust from it take the essence from it take the summary from it take the summary and that process it is a process it is called data analytics now who will do it you mean to say company secretary he can do it there are lot of data analytics companies who do it and when you are a company secretary you will be having huge data and you must train your uh, sub staff uh, hey i will give you this um, uh, finance data tell me what is the ratio with respect to uh, sales to expenses fixed cost to uh, expenses or fixed cost to uh, sales how much is debt to equity ratio what is your ebita to a turnover ratio 
so uh, uh, from the you compare with uh, the 10 companies of our competitor companies tell what is their numbers rank it 1 to 10 who is lowest who is highest where we stand and uh, above us who are there below us who are there oh so then you know your position you can position yourself and then you can improve data analytics is the process of inspecting cleansing transforming with the goal of discovering this is first you need to be very clear what do you want informing conclusions and supporting decision making so data analysis are multiple facets and approaches encompassing diverse techniques under a variety of names today how do you do it using a database using database tools using a spreadsheet tools using a lot of software using sql commands you do all, all this data analysis so you need to be technologically conversant and today swayam gives you a courses swayam gives you eight weeks course and uh, not only big data analytics uh, uh, you have uh, please go to categories like uh, what do you say uh, commerce management and commerce under management and commerce please see there are a lot of uh, courses on uh, subcategories you can say management studies under this there will be a lot of uh, uh, courses uh, especially with respect to uh, uh, what do you say data analytics maybe we can put commerce also here okay so why this is not coming course title here so you can try this actually ongoing courses try ongoing courses uh, many will be there i think today i am not able to get it why am not able to get it So anyhow, you try this. Uh, maybe morning they are not able to show me the the cloud is not working yet. <laughs> right now, analytics. What your study material speaks about? Please look here. Analytics is defined as a process. They had also said it's a process of transforming data into insight for making better decisions. Now that is why your first part of your uh, chapter speaks about three types of questions. What is it? Data information knowledge so they give you abstract part then they give you a practical part so please that is also an exam question please look here where is it ah uh, four marks please look here four marks question differentiate between data information and the knowledge and where is it given it is given in your page number 31, 32, and 33. Data, information, and knowledge. So let me take you to your page number 31, 32, and 33. And then again, I'll come back to analytics. Okay, I'll come back to analytics. So where is your 32? Yeah, so these are all exam questions. One by one, I'll take you. Yes, data information. Now, guys, uh, data is in raw form. Data is in raw form. Information will be a arranged format of data. I repeat, an arranged format of data. Information is also data. Data gives you information, and information is derived from data. So, data is fundamental. For example. Now, uh, we have uh, uh, how many friends here? We have almost 212 friends here. One of the friends I ask uh, his address. He only says uh, Marg, M-A-R-G, Marg. Uh, what is it, Marg? Marg is one data, that's all. Now, I need before and after. Then he says uh, 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 732221. This is actually PIN code. This is one data. So, 732221, what information it will give? This belongs to which uh, state, which uh, city. So, that is information. Data is only number. Only number. Sometimes, uh, you have to have a string of data to know about uh, that particular person. So, I need to know date of birth, name, father's name, address, okay, location, geolocation, many things uh, I need. So, 
only a string of data will give me information so this is called interpreted data now i'm going to share with you one more interesting aspect about this and then i'll take you to data analytics uh, this is uh, what uh, chirof this guy has defined the components of data information and knowledge like this this is the lowest point the hierarchy the cdo okay the staircase in the staircase the lowest stair is called data this is fundamental this is what you capture from people give me data give me data give me data so data is the lowest point unstructured collection of facts and figures numbers alphabets numbers alpha numeric okay information is the next level that is regarded as structured data maybe you arrange it in ascending descending alphabetical okay area wise okay age wise okay something you do it then it becomes information good knowledge is defined as information about information you know data information from information what to infer from information what to understand your study material is a data or information your study material is information because study material has collected data and summarized it in a format so therefore your study material is information study material no no all 212 friends 205 friends you have information with you but you have knowledge only when you read this only when you understand this information becomes knowledge now will knowledge be sufficient no the knowledge has to be converted timely properly wisely then only it will convert to marks please look here there is it ah uh, so data information knowledge that should become wisdom by look here by content wise data is more but uh, from uh, what do you call it as uh, in terms of uh, um, insight uh, data will have very less insight but wisdom wise uh, they say people uh, uh, the those uh, the where the where the vessel is full it will not make noise if the vessel is half full it will make uh, uh, more noise so so those who are uh, highly knowledgeable wise uh, they'll keep quiet and they'll speak only when it is required understanding okay and application of proper principles okay integration of the related facts that is what is called as wisdom so wisdom will come only when knowledge is there okay sometimes people will be knowledgeable but uh, they may not be wise they know they have a lot of information they they will interpret the information and they will understand it. but wisdom will come only by having uh, not black hairs only by having gray hairs only they have to be they have to understand interpret and uh, pattern they have to connect it and they have to have a vision if this knowledge is applied here what will happen what will be the result okay so in examination they ask a question oh i know this all right i will write it so you have to be careful so what you should write how you should write it is not what is important what you know is important how you actually convey to the examiner an examiner must understand that you know the subject that is very then only you will get marks it is not enough that you know the subject what is most important you must convey that subject to the to the to the examiner an examiner must know that you know the subject that is wisdom that is wisdom and uh, that is why i used to say for preparing company secretary professional course uh, there are three stages number 1 your study material reading understanding second level of reading is you actually get well prepared with the subject so that to that is called knowledge first reading will give you understanding it is actually information you actually learn second reading will give you knowledge oh right very good what he says i understood you know there is a third level of preparation that is the third round 
that is very important for your exam to clear this exam many people they they actually miss that and uh, they say they actually uh, uh, curse institute ye uh, kya hai main to 50 mark le liya only 10 more marks if they put i would have passed uh, so because uh, uh, some somebody would have come to 49 Fifty, they would not have got forty-nine point five average. They would have got. So therefore, what is most important here is, it is how you have to write an answer in answer paper. You know, I shall I give you one uh, example. Out of hundred students, out of hundred students, hardly, hardly four or five will write this subject and practice. Everybody, we read, we take a pencil. and uh, we only underline we only tick presuming we are knowledgeable and we are wise we are wrong we don't write it we don't write it so today you go and try to write uh, uh, five sentences about data information knowledge you will understand where you stand and that is what will happen in examination that is what will happen in exam that right in practice thanks to technology technology has improved but technology has also made us dumb by not making us to write and you know, making us to write. that is very very important in this particular subject okay so data information knowledge very careful now please look here now i'll take you to another question here this is an exam question in information you have two types of questions there is a question which they have asked in information ah uh, look at four marks so you know what is data information knowledge and wisdom now please look at uh, information this is page number uh, if i am right page number 34 page number 34 ah uh, this is page number 34 types of information in this say primary secondary information now what is primary what is secondary information raw data you take uh, that you analyze the data you take you analyze you get information from that you get knowledge example you go to the market uh, get the data from the customer summarize it for example there are 100 customers are there you go to the market ask 100 customers out of 100 only 20 will give answer 20 you summarize and give the statistics to the middle management then it is called primary information So what is primary information? Original form, not translated by anyone. Original. Form. But what is secondary information? You don't go to market and take data. Somebody is already having data. That data you take and you you further process it. Now there is a plus there, minus is there. Plus is you get data faster. What is the minus? Whether that data is a right data. What if the data is a cuckoo data? If the data is imaginary data? your analysis is also gone gone for a task so therefore what is secondary data it is pre packaged examination restatement or reinterpretation of primary information already collected by someone that is called secondary information okay so therefore you have pluses there minuses there in both primary and secondary in primary the pluses you get the original data what is the minus it will take longer time secondary information what is a plus within short span of time you can do it okay ta For example, tomorrow all of you must present a PowerPoint on cloud computing. What everybody will do? Sir, very simple. So get up, get up, get up. Go to Google, type cloud computing, enter, enter. So many things will be there. Download, copy it, paste it in PowerPoint, and then present it. What you are doing? You are not doing primary information. Already secondary information is there. You download it and do it. Ninety-nine point nine nine percent of us, we only do secondary information. But as a company secretary, a chartered secretary, when you sit in a company, when top management is asking questions, sir, will you give secondary information to them or primary information to them? You only give primary information. So at that time, uh, they will ask. So what type of data is this? Sometimes second month, third month also they will ask reports. Time will not be there. Somebody, uh, what they did? Uh, last month data, last month report, he copied it, just tweaked some of the plus ten percent, minus ten percent, and then gave a report. And the top manager is happy. Oh wow! So fast you have done this uh, data. Very good, very good appreciation. Ten percent increment in salary. What is it? So 
this is uh, not correct so what he did uh, he took his own data and then he tweaked it and then he, he gave so that is actually secondary information so secondary information has all these minus points and you being sitting in a very important for example many of your company secretaries uh, made uh, many company secretaries have become managing directors when you get the uh, reports uh, you must actually test whether this is primary data or secondary data how you just ask three four questions you have given a summary of uh, sales from where you got it what is your uh, uh, break up of this asking break up of that particular data you are actually going down to the primary data please remember that is why many of the top management uh, when they get the report uh, immediately another mail will come uh, give me the breakup of this. You send the breakup, another mail will come. You give me the breakup of that, the breakup data. And another mail will come, they will go down deep, 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 they will go. So sometimes uh, we have to keep all those informations and before uh, submitting. So that is primary and secondary. Okay, very important. Okay. So, so that is an exam question. Now I will take you to another interesting question. System. Look at this four mark question. Open system and closed system. This is coming in the first part of uh, your uh, second chapter. Okay, first part of your second chapter. What is open system? What is closed system? It is there in page number 27. I repeat guys, it is in page number 27 of the study material. Now let me show you page number 27. This is page number 27. You know, an example for a uh, closed system, a practical example I'll give you. Your family your family consists of what? Father, mother, yourself, maybe your brother and sister. This is called a family. Family is a closed system. Now, what is an open system? Your friendship. Now, this is an open system. 209 members are there in this uh, morning class. Now, will 209 will increase? Yes, people can join. Can 209 can decrease? Yes, people can go out. So, therefore, it is not like a classroom. Where in the classroom and everybody is there, uh, they will feel very uh, uh, inconvenient to actually come in and go out, class is going on. Now here, it is online only. Who is coming in, who is going out, uh, I also don't know. So, the, anybody can, uh, just like the known, a class is boring, uh, will let us walk out. Uh, uh, let us, walking out is very simple. Just shutting down is uh, walking out. Okay. So, this is called open system. I repeat, open system. Now look here guys, yes, this is open system, closed system. So what is open system? Refers to system that interact with other systems or the outside environment. Okay, now what is a closed system? Refers to a system that is relatively little interaction with the outside environment. Okay, now I'll give you an example in technology. Now, what is an open system? Internet is an open system. At this particular point of time, at this particular point of time, can you tell how many people are online? You can say 209. But beginning, 83 people were only online. So this is called an open system uh, already. Similarly, not only here, you go to a chat box, you join a chat room, a messenger. So people will come in and go out. So how many people will be online? Okay, so that is uh, that actually will always change. Now, open system, closed system. I'll give an example for a closed system in a technology environment. For example, your office. Your office is in a LAN environment. What is LAN? Local area network. So you have an office in a floor uh, where uh, 7,000 square feet is there and uh, almost uh, 80 people are working. And all 80 people, they have a system. They are all connected in the network. So these 80 are local area network. I repeat, they are in a LAN environment. So this LAN environment is a closed system. I repeat, LAN is a closed system. Of course, they may be connected to an internet and they can send email and receive email. That is different. But as far as the systems are concerned, for example, anybody who is in the next building, can they connect to your system? No, you don't give access to them at all. And uh, every time when you actually uh, log into your uh, local server, that means your AT system, they'll have a local server. And when you log into a local server, they will, you have to give your user ID and password. Only 80 user IDs, 80 passwords will be there. 
if 81st person wants to log in uh, he can't do so and uh, the ip address of the respective terminal will be registered so only from that machine you have to give that particular user id and password then only the lan will actually give you access to the server otherwise even if you bring a external laptop connect to the lan and connect to the server the network administrator would have listed out the ip address of that particular ip address means internet protocol address that is the uh, every uh, hardware device will have a unique number that the number in that particular uh, network uh, will be registered and you will have a number when you just log into your lan uh, they will say you will connect to your lan and uh, you can access some data from the nearby uh, uh, system but if you have to log into the server server will say you are a new server person unless and otherwise uh, your system and a separate user id and password is created in the lan access cannot be given even if you give uh, your friends uh, who is part of your office network uh, his user id and password it will deny because even though user id and password is correct uh, your ip address your hardware is a new hardware it will reject uh, the system uh, cannot identify the device even though user id password is correct your device cannot be identified that is the advantage of lan because secure secure closed closed that's all now if you need to actually add one more to the terminal you need to reconfigure you need to reconfigure the entire uh, so you have to go to the network administration the operating system you have to say so far uh, 80 systems now we are going to make it 85 systems so five we are going to add and again every system you have to reconfigure it every system you have to reconfigure it so that is why closed system is very very sometimes some of the officers if you go they will say oh, no you are machine you cannot bring it inside so all those stuff they will have that uh, uh, what do you say the restrictions they will have so open system closed system you need to understand so whenever you you discuss with uh, some foreign investors will be coming he will bring his laptop you have to tell him very clearly sir our office is a closed system maybe you open your laptop use your network and connect it but we will not give access to our system that is there sometimes some of the offices they are like that it is that is where you need to appreciate the difference between these two and that is why this has carried four marks in your examination and not only these two you have to give here very very less information whatever i said note it down take points and you know who is the best teacher for technology for this entire subject you know who is the best teacher the best teacher is google bhagavan google bhagavan is the best teacher so whenever you you don't know any answer ask google bhagavan say please look here uh, so what is open system and uh, closed system please look here the moment i type uh, it is able to understand so that is the so much uh, advantage of this look at this and uh, uh, open systems and closed systems okay please look here uh, open system is defined as system in exchange with the environment closed system other it is isolated from environment this is very general term this is from a social science perspective you can even speak from a physics perspective or from computer science perspective in computer please look here okay so you you know there is one particular site which i want to share with all of you it is called what is.com what is.com Uh, what is dot what is dot com is a very very important site uh, for all your technology related questions any technology related question you can go to this particular what is dot com okay so here you can uh, type uh, everything so like for example you can type um, what is called as closed systems so your answer will be in the form of uh, uh, technology oriented uh, systems so closed uh, system what is your open system so you can type here and find the uh, answer okay so like for example what is your open systems so try to actually use this kind of uh, uh, in computing context an open system is a open source typically composed of coordinated modular components from a number and uh, i'll give you a tip to actually answer in examination for example this question is four marks a four marks has two quest two parts open system closed system now remember two marks means give only two points 
Open system. What is open system? One line or two line explain. Second, give example for open system. Second, closed system. Explain what is called closed system in one line. Second, give example for closed system. That's all over. Four marks. Don't break your head and uh, write all kinds of nonsense in examination. Okay, good. So, that is one. Then, uh, next thing, uh, let me tell you about... Uh, ah... This is about the various uh, information needs. Okay, information needs, uh, especially uh, you have in the page number. Ah, tactical management, operation management. Guys, tactical management, and operation management. Now, what is this? Tactical management, operation management, and your top management. Okay, so you have in page number 36. I repeat, page number 36. Please look here, guys. This is in page number 30. I'll take you to page number 36. Yeah, 34, 35, 36. Uh, three classical levels of management. Please understand the alternative names for uh, top management. Top management, middle management, lower level management. Other is called strategic, tactical, and operational. So sometimes they will get asked a question, difference between tactical management, operation management, information needs of strategic management, information needs of tactical management, information needs of operation management. Top management, they need for decision making. Tactical management, they need information to provide to uh, strategic management because they are providers of information. And here, I want to share one very important thing. That is... Yeah. Ah, look, operation level, your transaction processing system. And uh, we'll be discussing this, not in chapter two, but we'll be discussing in chapter number, I repeat, we'll be discussing in chapter number eight, if I'm right, our uh, management information system. So here, in chapter number two, we'll only understand uh, what is what is operational management, what is technical, what is strategy, the types of operational management, what is transaction processing system, OLTPS, online transaction processing system, all your banking system or TPS, all your uh, railway reservation systems or TPS, transaction processing system, because that is the lowest level, business level, transaction processing. Now. Uh, you have the DSS and management information system. Do you think that people are using this? They'll have a different names for it. That's it. I repeat, MIS and DSS is a terminology used to, uh, otherwise a system for tactical level management. But practically, these MIS and DSS will have a different names in terms of software, in terms of uh, cloud computing. So therefore, let us uh, understand uh, these terms MIS, DSS, TPS will be an exam question. Okay, MIS, DSS, TPS, mandatory one exam question. At least one will come. Any one of these will come. So those are all systems of uh, the middle management or tactical management. And this one slide will actually give you the sarams, the saras of the entire three levels of management. Please look at the strategic level. They establish a knowledge-oriented mentality. They want to actually understand about the company. Now, tactical level, you want to identify the existing knowledge and they want to transmit that or inform the top management. Okay. The effective and efficient allocation of the knowledge within a firm. They want to know that. No, it is inefficient. They are doing well. They are doing, they are improving. Now, knowing that what, where they will give, they will give to top management. Now, top management has to take uh, some corrective actions. So that is a tactical level. They will actually... Uh, are the providers of information to strategic level. Similarly, operation levels, they are providers of information to tactical. They are the actually, I will say, they only give data in information from to tactical level and data analytics will be done by tactical level. So, operation level will capture data and convert that to information to tactical level. And tactical level, information they cannot give directly they are not uh, postman get information give to strategic level so tactical level they have to get the information and convert that to 
knowledge. That means they have to do data analytics. They have to do some. Uh, they have to. They have to summarize the information. They have to give the information in a one page. For example, I'll tell you about a company in Chennai called. Uh, they are called Madras Cements Limited. Madras Cements Limited. Their brand is actually Ramco Cements. They are one of the very big brands. Okay. So I went to that particular company. I actually met that uh, vice president finance, very knowledgeable guy. So uh, Mr. Raju, very good that this and all you did. And by exactly by 11, 11, 15, he got one, one printout. You know, that printout was one page, just one page, A4 size print. And uh, Mr. Raju, you have come for audit, okay, all this stuff and all, just see this paper and I'm sure you can tell me more about it. Guys, I'll tell you, after seeing that paper, I was, uh, it actually, uh, 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 gear, uh, I was getting some uh, 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 headache. Why? The percentage, YTD information, so some numbers, some metric done, so many stuff was there. I was not able to comprehend. So at that time, I was a chartered accountant, I was a cost accountant. Uh, so uh, I was actually ashamed to actually uh, comprehend those information. That is knowledge, because they have got uh, because they have uh, factories at uh, Alathur uh, in Tamil Nadu and uh, uh, in near Vijayawada they have one plant. Uh, so there are very many uh, cement plants they had from the cement plant till yesterday evening night 8 p.m. They have collected information. Now that information is provided by the operational level to Tactical level. Now, who was tactical level? Vice President Finance. Now, Vice President Finance, he has a team. That information was put up and digested and, and summarized in one particular paper. I surrendered to Vice President Finance. Sir, I am not able to comprehend this, but uh, I have one request to you. You are explaining to me what is this since you are giving me this paper. Raju, I will explain to you. You know, he took 40 minutes to explain that entire paper. And uh, up to yesterday evening, 8 p.m., what has happened in the company he was able to know in his table. You know why he may prepare the table? Not for him. A copy will come and after his verification signature, that one page will go to the strategic level. And strategic level is the top manager, executive director of finance and uh, uh, you will have the director of finance and uh, you will have the uh, maybe uh, the managing director, CEO, all those board uh, representatives, after the vice president finance uh, signs it, it will go to uh, the director of finance. So, or the executive director of finance. So, he did he's part of the board. So, he is uh, level, uh, one level below the board. So, after one, his signature only, it will go there. And that information is so critical, so critical. By looking at that information, strategic level people can take a decision. Okay, things are going well. Things are not going well. I need to take a corrective action. I need to give a direction. So that aspect is what. Uh, and what is the system that is? That is called strategic support system. Management decision, manager information system, vision support system, transaction process system. So please understand how data gets transformed to info. Info gets transformed to knowledge. Knowledge you gets uh, transformed to wisdom and why people are there, uh, the gray hair, the people are there at board uh, because they, they will take a wise decision. I repeat, they'll take a wise decision. So guys, uh, so that's about uh, the information needs. Uh, and uh, I'll just share with you one question. Uh, generally, the strategic management information needs comprise of what are the, what, what they, what they want. They want macro analysis. They want to know government policy. Somebody that they would have recently introduced to some notification. They want an interpretation of that. Not only the notification printout. The notification printout, uh, the executive director of finance, the personal secretary can give a printout. But what is the work of uh, company secretary? Company secretary should take a printout of that uh, notification, interpret it, make a note, make a note, a point, uh, one, two, three, four. What is what is that notification? For our industry, what is the implication? For our company, what is the plus and minus? Sir? What we need to do? Like that, you will have to prepare a note and give it. 
they will take a decision yes or no no what you have done is proper so information about government policy it is not government policy print out you will give that he himself can google it and take a print out you have to interpret it you have to, that is what is called information information about competitor policy and tactics the news will come some uh, press release they would have given so that we have to collate it and give so they have to take a counter strategies information about major exceptions in implementation analysis about major happening event okay so and what is a tactical level very important information about latest technologies in the area they have been working so that the effectiveness in their deliveries and improvement in efficiencies they have to always see that so where uh, instead of three tube lights can i make it two instead of four workmen can i make it three instead of this particular machine uh, can we replace it with a new machine so always they should uh, think about the effectiveness and efficiency only because they are the middle manager then they are the middle man anything that information they are getting they have to always think in that direction okay information about problems faced by operational management and getting things done and lower level management is only data capture summarize the data give to tactical management data capture data capture data capture data capture summarize it give timely they have to provide the information to the middle management middle management operation never will not will not but there are exceptions i went to actually a factory here of uh, alathur uh, of metra cements limited me and my audit team we did the audit of uh, the company and uh, we were discussing that entire audit uh, points sir uh, during the uh, what do you say the dinner time okay during the dinner time and there was one uh, very elderly gentleman who was standing uh, in that uh, because we were we were in that uh, um, guest house okay guest house of the campus itself guest house of the campus and the, the guest house will be so nice food will be so tasty and there will be one uh, he senior head cook who will stand at the corner and he will only give instructions he will only show finger then he, uh, the the dish will come or side dish will come you only share you show that and uh, the guy will uh, the assistant will come and say sir what do you want all those stuff and all will be very nice so we were discussing about some very important uh, audit points you won't believe the next day the next day uh, by 8:30 we uh, by uh, 7:30 we finished our uh, morning breakfast 8 o'clock 8:15 we went to uh, office 8 7:45 o'clock itself uh, executive director of finance uh, representative was sitting there the vp finance was sitting there and um, there was a call that has come from the managing director from chennai to uh, all these guys uh, to actually uh, get uh, the, the views of the auditors with respect to the points uh, uh, of yesterday so whatever we have discussed in the uh, what do you say that uh, dining room the dining room whatever we have discussed uh, that message has been captured by the operational level person that is a head cook and he has direct connected to managing director so immediately called the managing director and said this is what the discussion happened in the dining room by auditors so immediately uh, directions went to the respective uh, people and they were ready with uh, explanations all those it are the stuff and sir you have this query this query i think we will answer this part we were stunned you know the next day that same day evening we went for dining room you know what happened nobody spoke even a single we will uh, when uh, our idli is over or our dosa is over we will just turn uh, uh, people will come and put it we will only say uh, i mean one sambar we want chutney we will only show the finger the, the side dish will come that's all no silent silently come in silently eat silently go and then sleep and then so where who will actually hear us we may not know so that is a connect between operation management to strategic management so there are certain companies and uh, uh, a similar scenario also happened in uh, um, uh, what is it karnool karnool is a place in andhra pradesh there is a group called rayala seema group in that rayala seema group also a similar uh, scenario happened for us so very interesting uh, uh, experiences you will get when you deal with uh, information uh, sensitive informations uh, especially with uh, 
various levels of management. So, uh, guys, I must uh, thank and appreciate uh, each and every one of you. Okay. And uh, uh, I will uh, upload this uh, uh, question and answers uh, in uh, my blog. My blog address is uh, www.3spro.blogspot.com. Please go there, download it. But before downloading, point number one, give your comments. In the comment box, please go there and give your comments. Okay. Second, if you are uh, going to my uh, uh, YouTube and uh, you want to see all this stuff, please go there at your free time. Please see this. And very important stuff is there. And uh, uh, one request is, uh, there is a subscription button. So please uh, type your subscription button and uh, even you can give your comments also here, add a public comment. So please give your public comment. In my blog, please look here, this is my blog. And yesterday uh, I have uploaded ITSA, ICSA webinar crash course. My presentation link is there. And a few of them you have already given comments. Five of you have already given comments. Please look here. So please try to share your comments. See, already you have given comments here. Only five have given comments, but the many have downloaded, okay? So please uh, go there and give your comments. When you give your comments, give your name, location. Give your name and location and give your comments. Many are giving unknown, unknown. That is not the right way. All of you are professional students, professional uh, program students. Give your name as well as your location and then share your thoughts. A line or two or even more than that you can type and maybe if you have a query that also you can put it. Okay. So this is the way you communicate to us. Number two, number three. So I have uh, shared about uh, my YouTube link. I have shared about uh, this. And uh, third part uh, is with respect to uh, the All India. Uh, All India CS IT SA. All India CS IT SA group. Uh, if uh, you want to be part of this group, already uh, 60, 70 people have uh, joined this particular group. Uh, if you want to be part of this group, uh, share uh, your uh, uh, name, mobile number 9840063269, 9840163269. Any one of this number, try to send your name, very important, and uh, your location and your uh, mobile number. All this three stuff you have to send name location and the mobile number please remember name location mobile number to any one of this number 9840063269 and i will uh, direct those administrators to actually include it and i have also requested two senior officers of the institute of company secretaries of india to also be the administrators of this group uh, so that uh, the entire group will be monitored also and please ensure Use all this stuff to uh, uh, strengthen your uh, subject uh, understanding so that this is a subject where it will pull your marks also. It can also push your marks. And uh, as and when we, we uh, uh, mature uh, with respect to the chapters, I'll also share with you um, one more important stuff, how you have to actually present your answers in your examination. Okay, very important. So remember two things in examination. One, you need to be good in the subject. Understanding of the subject is much. Second, the language in which you write. You know how that language you can develop? Only by practice. Only by practice. So have a notebook, have a pad or whatever the pen and no take notes one by one. Every chapter you take notes. Every chapter you take notes. Write, 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 write. Nothing wrong. And in this group, WhatsApp group, once this nine day class is over, I'm going to put the queries, questions every day. And all of you have to practice that and you have to post your answers in that particular group. So that ex practice exercise I'll be doing for the next two or three months until your examination. Okay. So those of you who are very, very serious about the subject, very, very serious about scoring maximum marks in ITSA, they only uh, have to give me the uh, request. So others, uh, uh, if you feel and uh, very important, many of you, uh, if you think this group is uh, this session is very important share your share your views now i am giving you time now please put your comments now please put your comments now in chat box what do you feel about this uh, session if you have any queries you can put it now please put your queries 
now in chat box we have now in 9:35 and i'll try to uh, take up at least two three queries and i'll try to answer those queries and before we close the session any questions are there guys please uh, share your questions in the chat box The blog is here. I'm. I'm just. You are seeing the blog only. Please look at this. Is the blog? You are able to see the Google. The Google page. Yes. This is the blog. The blog uh, you are seeing here. The screen is shared. Uh, Agile technology. Very good. Agile technology. Already, I think uh, we have. Uh, I have this. Yes. Yeah, one by one. Ah, check. Now this is agile technology. So uh, let me now uh, uh, explain this. This is a software development method. Okay, please look at this uh, uh, this diagram, and also uh, your study material page number uh, forty-eight. Please look at page number forty-eight, guys. Uh, this is page number forty-eight. Yes. Agile technology is a method of software development. Now, what do you mean by agility? Agility means to be awake. Agility means to be awake. That is the English meaning of it. Now, a customer will come and he will say, uh, develop our software. Now, this kind of model, where we will use for mobile application, the mobile application, for mobile app only we use agile technology. Now, what is agile technology? Why we use this for uh, uh, mobile apps? Number one, you need to do it much faster. For example, uh, we have this uh, the latest uh, software which actually tracks uh, some Setu software is there. The Setu software, uh, Arogya Setu software. Arogya Setu software was developed using agile technology. Now, what is this agile technology? A model will be developed and then it will be delivered. It will be tested with the customer. Customer will say, no, 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 it is good. But I need that one. I need to improve that particular part. So now please look here. Develop, release, accept. Accept by whom? You develop stage one and two. Then release. Release means test it with the customer. Whether the customer will accept it. If he accepts it, give it to him. Take the money. He says he will give some more correction. One, two, three, four. So implement the changes. Adjust, reprioritize. Again, do the development process. Again, do the testing. Will the customer accept? May accept. He will say, okay, okay. All those stuff are right. I think two more has to be changed. Two more has to be changed. So again, go over implement changes and then do it. Uh, ultimately, the customer will agree for it. So that is called agile software development. Now, please look here. It is a group of software development methods used on iterative and incremental development where requirements and solutions evolve through collaboration between self-organization and cross-functional team and also with the customer. And also with the customer. Because ultimately, customer has to accept. It promotes adaptive planning. Sometimes customer will not have idea about the product at all. He will not understand what software guys are speaking, what the user generally both of them uh, coming together is very difficult so therefore they will come with one product and say uh, guys do you uh, you understand what uh, this is the product uh, you like it you'll say yeah yeah this product is very good but uh, we need a little more we need a little more can you just uh, do some adjustment and give it to us so in this process agile process 
you save time and money because you are very very fast and easy to incorporate changes because you will have module wise module module the entire uh, software will be developed into module tap 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 100 200 300 modules whatever the customer say this part i you need to change so remove that model module develop a new model and then insert it so it is like building blocks you need not actually test the entire software because testing entire software will be very difficult you make one change in one place damal so everything will go for a task and so it is like redoing everything so that is agile technology so make everything one one component one one component alone separate it's like a robo it's like a robo one component is gone that alone you remove that uh, hand alone bring a new hand and then attach it that's all agile technology easy to do fast execution short project life cycle okay that's agility guys that's agility lakshman is it mandatory to write exact language or study material not necessary only law only law only law you have to write the exact uh, sections here this is technology you write what you understand what you understand you write you draw diagrams simple simple diagrams you draw okay and uh, somebody was asking me about uh, mitali sahane sir you have covered only some parts of this chapter so should be considered that only the part you have explained is important for exam point of view no the entire study material from page number 1 till page number 290 is important but we have only 9 class 9 into 2 18 hours only we have so within this 18 hours i am only taking those concepts which is very significant and important and where there is a need for attending a class and getting explanation and i believe all of you are seasoned uh, uh, professional students uh, who can actually understand some of the simpler concepts some of the simpler concepts it doesn't mean that what i share alone is important all are important but uh, indirectly uh, uh, i want to make a point that whatever i am discussing i am only taking up exam oriented significant points alone i am discussing okay this is not shubham agarwal this is not a regular class this is a crash course okay so therefore uh, uh, time will be always a constraint so within the time i am making the best use of it you have to ask questions uh, shubham agarwal you are not asking questions ask the subject questions somebody asked about agile technology explain so ask uh, subject questions read you read and ask questions you are all professional students you are not school children okay yeah 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 poonam bansal believe me believe me poonam bansal's answer and rinku mehra's answer how do i distinguish and whether i should give more mark for poonam bansal rinku and poonam both will give answer but poonam gives me answer plus a diagram so one mark extra poonam will get as an examiner i am a human being and you are communicating to me through your answers whether you are a girl or a boy i don't know but through your answer only you are communicating about your knowledge and most important diagram will simplify your understanding and your way of communication to me so therefore try to come out with diagram simple simple diagram simple simple line diagram don't waste time on a neat diagram simple line diagram the uh, uh, straight line tak 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 uh, triangle tak 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 like this lakshman says and why am not getting full marks in answer which not exactly match to study material you give me you send me the certified answer sheet let me see what uh, uh, how best you have answered it let me see okay so good thank you very much uh, have a good day and uh, let's meet tomorrow morning 8 am same time for the uh, two chapters that is on hardware and software okay decision support system chapter 8 guys sagar i told you chapter 8 only decision support system is there out of syllabus out of chapter question you are asking yes. chapter 8 only when i 
when i explain chapter 8 i'll be explaining uh, decision support system mis is chapter 8 meenakshi mis is chapter 8 i'll explain don't worry when is chapter 8 i have given the schedule to uh, uh, who is that guy rajiv garg and uh, bandari of institute of company secretaries i have given uh, uh, the schedule to them they would have already uh, posted it uh, that what is the date uh, and what is the chapters sukanya says okay right any other question got thank you very much see you guys see you thank you